Hi everyone, it's your extraordinary social media consultant Elizabeth Hall with Smart Office Help Social Media Agency. And today I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an insight and give you a tour into Canva. And I want to show you their actual, their um, branded tool that you can use to kind of fix up your images really quickly. And then I'm going to also show you some examples of some images that I've made. So first let's head over to Canva. And when you go to Canva, you can actually use Canva for free and they have lots and lots of templates that you can use. But I'm actually going to log into my account because I have the paid account because I want to show you what it looks like. So when you first log into your account, this is what it looks like. Now it'll look a little bit different on the free accounts, but many of um, the items that you see here are still available if you use it for free. And I like using Canva because I can quickly build images and um, download them and post them to the other social media networks. So I wanted to share this with you. Now, um, I'm going to show you how to actually set up an account and so you can really see the background of Canva. And then I'm going to come back and show you some examples. Now, before you um, sign up, okay, let me just okay. give you a few tidbits of information. You can uh, do, actually do the free trial and you'll have access to everything that the paid version will have, which is nice. Now, it costs $9.95 per month if you go on the yearly plan. So that's a little bit of a discount. You get almost a $3 per month discount as opposed to if you did it on a monthly, a monthly plan where you get... Either way, you can stop any time that you wanted to, but I definitely would recommend that you try the monthly plan out first. So now um, I've already entered in everything and I'm going into Canva and it's going to kind of walk you through all the steps to set up your brand in Canva. Now you don't have to have a brand to use this, but it, it, it's definitely better. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our branded colors. Now I have certain colors that I use on my website and on all the images that I have. So I'm going to set those colors up first. And you can also set up the fonts that you have. So first I selected um, the plus and then I'm going to go and I'm going to pick the colors. Now I'm just going to kind of speed this up because it's going to take a, a few moments for um, need to pick all the colors that I have. Now I have selected all the colors for my brand and you'll notice the top bar here and um, this bottom bar, actually they changed to my branded colors. So um, that's nice. You can see how the colors are rendering on the website. Now we're going to go down and I'm going to enter in our logo. So I'll just go here on my computer and find the logo and put it in. All right, now our logo is in, which is nice because I don't have to go and try to find my logo every time I want to put it on an image. So I actually have it here. Now, next I'm going to change the fonts and I'm going to put in the fonts that I normally use for everything on our branded material. And so you just select the little, a little edit pencil and scroll down and find your fonts if it's available here and not mine's is I use open sans for mostly everything and then you can also change the size um, that you're going to use and then the subheadings as well
okay so I've changed the body of the text and everything and so now I'm just going to go ahead and select next now when I selected next it's, it's asking me to choose the header font but I've already done that so I'm going to just go ahead and skip past that now it's asking me for the logo done that all right so now it says I've added the branded colors for the default colors and you can see where the default colors are now coming in so that orange color you'll see are is on all the images so it really gives you some examples of how it's going to render render on the screen so after you get done with that, the next thing it's going to do is kind of give you a tour to explore. And I'm not gonna go through this whole thing cause it's a little tedious. It's kind of a little game that they put on here, which in my opinion, it's a little bit annoying and you don't have to do it. I did go through the little game so that I could kind of figure things out. So you could do that as well, but I'm not gonna take you through that whole process. Okay, so now we're back um, to just the login when we logged into the account and you saw how you actually set up your account for Canva and you can do the free trial if you like, which I would highly recommend. I definitely would do the free trial before I committed to um, the monthly payment. Now here you'll see these are all the designs. I may not have hundreds of designs because I do lots of images. Uh, on Canva myself so you can see here are some of the images here now what I like about this is when I get ready to create an image there's actually lots of templates so we're going to click this more plus here and you'll see and lots of these templates are all available and you can use them for free as well and here you'll see you have the social media templates. You have Twitter, regular social media, Instagram, Facebook. And the nice thing is that they're sized properly. So let's hover over the Twitter post and you'll see this is the proper size or dimensions for Twitter posting images. And again, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, and we have a lot more. And if you scroll down the page, you'll see there's different documents that you can use. There's a resume if you just wanted to do your resume here. And then there's blogging. And if you go down, there's marketing materials, social media, and email headers, which I use these a lot also for um, emails that I send out. And there's a Twitter header here, YouTube. So this makes it super easy to make headers. And again, I'm, sh I'm going to show you some examples. And if you go down, there's a couple of more, a couple, there's a few more that you can use. So let's go um, back to, um, the branded part. So this is what makes it really nice when you sign up for your brand. You can bring on more team members if you like, and you, there's an extra cost for that, but you can set up templates. So I have some templates that are set up here for when I um, actually do Instagram posts, and I may wanna use like the same type of template, which is really important when you're doing branding. And if you look here, this is actually a template for my personal channel uh, when I do some organizational videos. And so I use this template all the time, so all I have to do is just bring this up. Now, the, these, these templates that you save for yourself are not available on the free package. So you actually will have to be on the paid package for these. And for the podcast, this is the template that I use for the podcast. So all I have to do is open it up and then change a few things and then I'm done. So it make, makes it very quick and easy. Then I have some um, custom ones that I've done and they kind of pick some things for you, but most of these are templates that I've put in here myself. Now here's one right here where it has watch and learn. So whenever I post a video, I actually make a Pinterest image. And this image, I just post this directly to Pinterest. I just change just a few things on here and then I'm done. And then I have some tips. This is also for Pinterest. And if you go down, I have more, more, more templates that I use because templates are really important when you're using Canva for business and images are important as well. So you want a quick way to like get those images done. 
Now I'm going to show you the branded kit. Now if you go over to the branded kit and you saw when we did the setup for this, you'll see that my colors are here and these are the colors that I use all the time. So when I pull up an image or uh, I get ready to create an image these colors are already there I don't have to put the codes in again like you would if you you're using the free program and it also if you look over here to the right you'll see where it has the headings are open sans and the sizes because I put those sizes there so this is essentially like a template for your business brand and then I have the logo. So whenever I bring things up, everything that I need uh, will come up as well. So let's go to the designs. And I'm just going to pull up one really quick and show you. Now this is an image that I did for my Facebook group. And I'll show you in the actual feed how it looks. And what I did was I selected the Facebook template. So it's sized already. And then I chose a Canva layout, which was the Happy Halloween one. and I went and I customized it for um, my needs. So I put on there, what are your social media goals for this week? And I always branded it, not branded, but I always try to watermark it at the bottom. So this is the Facebook group, Twitter mastery. So let's go back up here and you'll see. And then it will also show me my design. So if I go to the designs, it will show me the designs that I've made also. So you can do any kind of designs in Canva that you like, and I'm not going to go over how to make the designs, but I'm going to show you some examples and how they actually look in some of the feeds. So let's go over to smart office help and this banner that I have right here where it says the Twitter mastery lab, find out more. I actually made this banner in Canva and it was pretty easy and you can see it renders very nicely on the computer. And again, I made, um, this is a course, a course image that I made for the Twitter marketing guide. And that's over at the Twitter mastery lab.com. And also this is a book cover that I made. So I published a book this year, the dig deep in Excel, Twitter marketing action sheets book. And that's over on Amazon right now. And I actually published, um, that book with a cover that I made from Canva. Now I'm going to also show you over on the blog post because I make the, my featured images, I make all my images in Canva. So you'll see here, um, this was a Twitter marketing series guide and uh, it's a 10 part series. And what I did was make this a template so I could change some of the information on here for the social media networks. And also, if you look over here to the right, you'll also see some more images that I made. So I made this one for the Twitter mastery lab. And again, there's the book cover. And if you look over here in the feed, here's another cover, um, that I did for the featured image for 20 smart business holiday ideas. And that's over on the blog and you can, you can check out some of these blog posts. If you like over at smartofficehelpcom slash blog. And uh, also you can click on any of these images are clickable as well. So I just imported the images in and made sure that the URLs were attached. Now let's go over to Facebook. Now here in Facebook, this uh, image at the top, I actually made that image as well for the Twitter mastery lab because there's a template for Facebook header art in Canva. And if we go down, I'll show you some of the images and how they look in the feed. So if you go here again, this is the one that I showed you in Canva and it shows in the feed very nicely and it has the proper sizing and that's why it's nice. I made these two images as well. So it's promotional Saturday. And again, this is over at the Twitter mastery lab, uh, Facebook group. So if you go to Facebook, dot com slash groups slash Twitter mastery lab. And I'll have a link down below for the group. You can head over to the group and join us in there. Uh, we discuss all things Twitter basically. So it's a brand new group and you'll just need to need to request to join and I'll check out your profile because we're trying to keep it clean and make sure we don't have any spammers in there and then I'll let you in. So you are invited. And then you'll see here's another image. So you'll see I have uh, many images here. I made this quote. I made all these in Canva. 
So let's look at Pinterest. Here's the image that I made for Pinterest. I made a really large, um, not really an infographic. This one is kind of more on the promotional side, but this is, um, I was promoting the Twitter Mastery Lab on Pinterest and you'll see it is really long. And I did this whole thing in Canva. So you can see Canva makes some awesome. Images. Okay, and last I'll show you Twitter. And again, this is the header on our, our Twitter profile. And I made this in Canva as well. And if we go and look through the feed, You'll see here are some of the images. Um, we have a Twitter tip here. And here is a video that we that I made and I made a featured image for that. And here's another one. And you'll see as we go through the feed that they render very nicely because I have them in the proper size. So let's see if we can find one like that one. So they're all in the proper size for the feed. And what's really nice um, on Twitter is that it saves those images as well. So you can see they look nice and bright and vibrant. So again, those are st the types of images that you can expect to be able to create in your Canva. And none of these images took me a long time to make. For instance, this this particular image, what are social media goals for? It took me about maybe 10 minutes to make that image. So it was pretty quick. You can really, you can crank out some images for your social media and your website or any other type of materials that you need uh, to print. So that's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And again, I'd like to invite you to head over to the twittermasterylab.com and there you'll find all things for Twitter. I'm currently working on some basic classes as well. So if you need to learn Twitter, you can register for free. So go ahead and register at the twittermasterylab.com. Also head over to the Facebook group if that's where you like to hang out at and you wanna ask some questions or even just join the community and add some value to our community as well. And that's at facebook.com slash groups slash Twitter mastery. So with that, go out and grow your networks using social media. Have a great day.